I had a, a business trip uh, planned to Israel and, you know, as the coronavirus situation was starting to evolve, we were debating, you know, should we or should we not actually make the trip. Now, unfortunately, my wife's dad also had a, um, a medical emergency situation, so we decided to flew anyway to Israel. Um, with the plan of being here for two weeks, uh, so we, you know, we left uh, Gula with our babysitter, uh, with doggy sitter, for uh, two weeks. And um, unfortunately, you know, a few days later, the situation in New York got worse. I mean, it was just insane how fast it was evolved. Um, and then we realized we are not going to stay just for a few weeks. It's going to be for a few months. And um, so we tried to get Gula back, you know, to Israel. Um, as you can imagine, we had to get all the approvals, the permit, export, import permit. So it took us some time to get all of that sorted out. And when, once we actually got everything, the same day they decided to shut down the entire flights from New York to Israel um, that allowed to carry dogs or pets. So unfortunately then Gula had to stay there for another one month. Um, and uh, th that was the story basically. So Gula is uh, basically part of our family. She's been with us, as I said, for six years. Um, and for us, she's really part of the family. So we really felt like, you know, we were missing um, like an important part of the family. Uh, obviously, you know, it made us feel like, you know, I won't say extremely sad, but, you know, we were just um, really eager and we were missing her a lot. Um, uh, Luckily enough, she uh, got to Israel, to the airport, and I met her there at 4 a.m., um, middle of the night, and uh, I was basically one of the few people at the airport, as you can imagine, and it was uh, really, really great to see her again. Gula! Hey, Gula! Hey, Gula! The reunion was, uh, was great. I mean, as I said, I met her in the middle of the night, 4 a.m. Um, at the airport. And she was excited to see me. She was actually a bit anxious. Um, and she was crying for almost 10 minutes. But it was really great to, to meet her. And then obviously when I got her back home, um, she met my uh, daughter and my wife. And it was a really nice uh, reunion and everyone was extremely happy. She was actually licking the baby face all around and she was jumping all around and it was really great to have her back with us. So obviously Israel is relatively um, a safer place than New York today um, and we really, you know, we are happy to be here um, where the situation seems to be under control and um, we are definitely happy to have Gula back with us. It was really like part of the family even an important part of the family was missing and we are very happy to have her back with us in this safe place.
You know, like I said people love their pets. People will do anything to get their pets from A to B. Um, and then, yeah, so you do hear some, we hear some far-fetched stories as well of people trying to say, well, I'll just chart on my own plane, for example. And you're like, well, it's not really going to work, is it? All, all the feedback we've had from all our stakeholders has been really positive. They really appreciate what the City of London are doing to help people get their pets from A to B. And, and, and then, yeah, and hopefully when we come out the other side, it'll be back to normal. Not yeah. normal, because we don't really have a normal day, but back to a normal, unnormal day. <laughs>